My name is Egon Chalakian. I am a particle physicist, international tax and IP law professional, federal lobbyist, and intelligence community educator who has devoted decades of research to studying the impact of climate change on national security. The current state of Earth's climate is an unprecedented catastrophe, a mortal challenge to our entire civilization. However, the paradox lies in the fact that a significant portion of humanity remains unaware of this catastrophe's full scale and reality. Therefore, today I'm appealing to representatives of the rational and thoughtful portion of humanity, those responsible individuals who possess capacity for critical thinking and objective assessment of the current global situation. I'm reaching out to you, regardless of your field of expertise, provided your intellectual acumen allows you to accurately analyze the events unfolding before you. I appeal to you, if your intellect transcends primitive thought, I appeal to you, if your harbor concern for your future, your loved one's future, and the entire humanity's future. I appeal to you, if you have not lost your sound judgment and the ability to think clearly, for it is incumbent upon you, intelligent and thoughtful individuals, that everything now depends. The future of humanity truly rests upon your shoulders. I now wish to draw your attention to a grave and alarming issue concerning the entire world. Russia, that is, the Siberia portion of Russia. Russia is a robust and dynamic country with a developed economy and vast natural resources. However, as of today, Russia is a threat, a clear threat to the existence of all mankind. And Vladimir Putin has nothing to do with it. The threat discussed below is not related to the sanctions our government has imposed upon Russia, nor is it related to Russia's war with Ukraine, a de facto confrontation with NATO. Still, this threat is related to what Russia values and is so proud of, their own Siberian territory. Siberia is an immense part of Russia's territory. Abundant natural resources and boasts the unique flora and fauna. Encompassing a substantial portion of Northern Asia, Siberia includes tundra, coniferous forest, and mountain ranges. Siberia stands as a pivotal strategic asset for Russia, often deemed a bastion of its security. However, I now wish to converse with you about a different aspect of Siberia. A Siberia that is undergoing alarming changes in its subsurface. These changes indicate a looming and unprecedented global climate catastrophe. And this catastrophe is not only for Russia. At the same time, I wish to caution those who find a certain joy in this matter. Those who pursue an active anti-Russian policy and those whose intellect falls short of comprehending the gravity of the situation. Do not rush to celebrate. Numerous compelling facts indicate that the events unfolding in Siberia could lead to the disappearance not only of Russia, but also of our world as a whole, including America and other countries collectively. I want to emphasize that this catastrophe is not merely a possibility, but an inevitability if we remain inactive. Moreover, this will occur not in some distant future or the next millennium, but merely in a matter of years, shortly ahead of us. Let me put it this way. If a child were born today, they wouldn't even have the chance to attend school before the world ceases to exist, along with each one of us. Such a scenario is highly likely if we allow indifference and inaction to prevail. First, I would like to give you a brief and clear understanding of this urgent problem. What is happening in Siberia? First and foremost, look at this map, which presents a genuinely alarming sight for those who understand the essence of the processes occurring on Earth today. Look at how the colors are distributed on this map and pay attention to the bright black red spot located precisely in the Siberian region. It contrasts sharply with the rest of the world, doesn't it? And this dark spot is a matter of great concern. Why, you ask? 
What does this map reveal? It identifies temperature anomalies stemming from the core of our planet that are deviations from the average temperature. You can clearly see the territory of Siberia has already experienced an extreme deviation from the normal temperature. And this deviation is more than five to seven degrees Celsius, which is equivalent to 40, 45 degrees Fahrenheit. In reality, this is a massive value considering that in other regions of our planet, temperature deviations are routinely measured in within one to two degree variances. But in Siberia, there is a very alarming five to seven degree variance. This means that the entire territory of Siberia is warming at an accelerated rate two to three times faster than the rest of the planet. This is a scientifically confirmed and accepted fact. Be advised, the same alarming rate of heat measurement is increasing every day. Please take a look at the following graph, which provides an analysis of the dendrochronological data covering a span of 7,000 years. Upon doing so, please pay attention to the long black line. It shows how the number of temperature extremes, anomalies, in Siberia have exponentially increased over the past decades. This information is merely parroted from information provided by a peer-reviewed article by the scientists from the Russian Academy of Science. Due to the accelerated rate of warming in recent decades, Siberia has experienced a record growth in the number of extreme climate events. The frequency and intensity of forest fires are ever increasing. Peat fires are occurring even under winter snow coverage, and permafrost degradation is accelerating from the bottom up. What is particularly concerning is the increased manifestation and activation of lithospheric faults in the Siberian region. This is evidenced by the intensification of heightened seismic activity in atypical regions of Siberia, including around fault lines. Unprecedented boiling of water is observed in wells located directly on these faults. There are extreme increases in geothermal anomalies in Siberia. The number of gas emission craters is increasing in the northern regions, with intensified methane and hydrogen emissions being realized from the inner Earth. In the event you have not yet noticed, mud volcanism on the Arctic shelf is becoming significantly more pronounced. All these facts unanimously point out that the dynamic warming of Siberia today, which is two to three times faster than the rest of the world, is primarily due to an increase in endogenous heat, heat coming from the Earth's depths. Siberia is warming from below. This situation demands interrogation. What is causing the increase in endogenous heat beneath Siberia? And why does this matter now warrant our undivided attention? Now I will provide a detailed explanation of this matter in its logical cause and effect format. Research conducted by competent Russian scientists have revealed that in the late 1990s, an unprecedented event occurred within the Earth's interior. The Earth's core experienced a jump, a sudden shift in northern direction from western Antarctica to western Siberia, specifically to the Timur Peninsula. This displacement led to the deformation of all mantle layers and the asymmetric heat distribution from the Earth's depths. As a result of the core's pressure towards Timur, deep magnetic head spots formed beneath Siberia, actively lifting magma closer to the junctions of the lithospheric plates. Consequently, heat accumulated beneath Siberia's upper mantle layers, and the thin lithospheric crust started the process of melting from the magma. In essence, the rates of lithospheric melting are accelerating due to the increasing temperatures and fluidity of the magma itself. The cause of this phenomena is the ocean's loss of its heat conducting function. Due to ocean pollution with microplastics, which accumulate in its waters due to human activity, the ocean cannot effectively cool the lithospheric plates and consequently the magma beneath them. In other words, the ocean is losing its ability to dissipate excess heat from the depths into the atmosphere. This leads to the heating of magma and its more active ascent towards the surface, a phenomenon observed not just in Siberia, 
but in various points around the planet.